uh, Coleus, to reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left, continue to the room filled with uh, rock column formations, and climb upward through the opening above them. The sand here is rising, so you must be uh, cautious but swift. Okay, so forward until you get the sandfall at the pit, left, and then room. Okay. go here till uh, there's a room with a pillar oh I think that was right be cautious crossing the chasm ahead the bridge Malora and I crafted will do its job but it isn't strong once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it, and you'll reach the shelter site. Can I even... Oh boy, okay. You're doing well. There's only a little further left to go until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Ow. I hope this is where I'm supposed to be. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, sorry, as I turn and leave. Hold on, I will go back, don't worry. What? Oh, there it is. All right, cool. This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others like these caves. I think this is a rare find. An update, we need to find a way inside quickly, Malori, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. From what we can see, Coleus and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly, this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. I agree. I really hope this still works. Oh yeah, look at this place. Oop. Wrong button. Wow, look at this. We built the sun station to power the Ash Twin project. I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of the star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost we shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe, if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Poke, I'm deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. 
Let's see, what was this one? Can't comprehend. I think we're okay. Unsurprisingly, Idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the de defining characteristic of our species. Uh, so we build the... Okay. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built if we hope to come uh, to complete the Ash Twin project. Okay. Anglerfish Overlook District, Stepping Stone District, High Energy Lab, Eye Shrine District. Oh man. Okay. Uh. Hold on. What is that? That's not what I wanted. Oh. Okay, what's this do? Oh. So this was the anglerfish? Yeah, I want that one. Well, actually, hold on. If it's just lights... Oh, I can turn all of them on. Come on. Oh my, okay. Well. Oh, that's the Overlook District. Wonder if that's gonna take me there. The Fossil Overlook. Oh. Oh man. Ooh, something in there. Oh, it's just too much to do. Can I get in there? There has to be a way. There has to be a way to deal with these cacti. Guess I'll come back to it. Oh no, oh no. Okay. Did it. Who's been computing shuttle trajectories to the sun station? Don't worry, the station is in such a low stellar orbit, we've constructed a different, safer way to travel there from Ash Twin. Oh. It's a purely theoretical exercise on my part, Yarrow. Who doesn't love computing a good low stellar orbit shuttle trajectory? Yeah, sure. Uh, Pi, I look forward to working with you, but I'm also relieved it will be easy to return to Ash Twin regularly. That would be Pi. I told her we wouldn't... Oh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, I told her we wouldn't be traveling there by shuttle, and that the Sun Station doesn't even have a landing pad, but she said she knew. Okay, I don't think those go anywhere overly interesting. 
Um, so I can find my way out of here. Well, unfortunately, I don't know if I can get to, uh, the, oh, oh no, oh, come on. Oops. Let's try that again. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? Ooh, blasphemy. Ow. I hate those things. don't know if I can make it back. Nope. Can I make it back to those trees? Ooh, I can. And then I guess I'll head wherever that is. Where is this? Gravity cannon. Oh no. Oh. Did I just like cheat? Sort of. Okay, good. Now I know how to get back there quickly. Guys, I don't think the gravity cannon's gonna work. Guess I'll just kinda hang out here for a while. <laughs> oh no, okay. Uh... So I think there there must be a way then from that area down there to get up to Ash Twin. What's over here? So I think what I'm going to have to do for uh, the Quantum Moon 
is look at it. Probably from the ship. Oh, and it's gone. I wonder if I can see it. Hold on. Let's see. That's not what I want. Uh, there it is. I don't know. Yeah, I'd have to look at where it is from the ship as I like fly by it. I see you there. Oh, I want to go there now. Okay, well. I think the universe is about to end. So, I'm going to have a marshmallow. Okay, let's see if I can find a little hole. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Ooh. Okay. Well, now I have to f see what that is. So let's turn the lights on. Okay, I'm just going for it. High energy lab. this probably how you get back up okay so I'm gonna close this in an attempt to stop the sand I don't want to miss anything Okay, well, I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, that didn't work at all. I guess I'll just wait till I can walk over it. That sand does not let you do anything. Okay. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Really? Ooh. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, yes. I really hope there's oxygen there, because if not, I'm going to have some issues. Oh, boy.
that was about as close as you can get. Will you look at that? Weird. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. I think I... Didn't I read this? White Hole Core mimic the setup on the White Hole Station. Yeah, I read this already. In update, our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in the uh, in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eye. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Uh, Raimi and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. So it's this one. I was, uh, okay. Of note, uh, Raimi Yarrow requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. Okay, I'll have to read about that later. Uh, before I play with that... Ooh. Oh. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible, that is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis, creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, uh, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Ramey and I believe that it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? You're a gasp high. My pun was unintended, Raimi, so I believe it's you who's... airy foam. So it looks like Yeah, I got no idea. I know where that's supposed to be on Ash Twin. So I know that's Ash Twin. The Ash Twin project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. Uh, to build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers, like the one we have on the White Hole Station? Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language, yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. <laughs> Uh, we can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the timber, timber, timber hearth tower after a geyser mountain. Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Okay, so this looks like it'll warp me somewhere.
let's just throw it in here and see what happens. Oh. oh wait, hold on. Alright, I totally know what I'm doing. This will be fine. say I understand it. Where does this go? if it needs to be facing it. This isn't obvious. I wonder... No, I was thinking maybe I would need to go down there, but... Obviously I can't do that. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. 